I joined the Moot Court Honor Society as a second year student and competed for two years with the Chicago Kent Moot Court team. During my third year of law school, I also helped coach other Moot Court students and I competed on the Chicago Kent Trial Advocacy Team. The learning experiences from both Moot Court and Trial Advocacy have really been almost innumerable. Um, I learned to refine my writing, to pour over every word and constantly recreate and rethink my writing to make it as persuasive as I possibly could. I learned to understand um, case law that I'd never experienced before, complex statutes, policy principles, rules of evidence, things that I essentially had to go from no knowledge to highly conversant in a subject matter in a matter of days or weeks. And I think that's a skill that really young lawyers especially really need in their practices. I also had the experience of advocating in front of highly accomplished jurists that even really experienced lawyers often have not had the opportunity to appear in front of. Just as an example, um, I worked with the, I argued in front of the third, fourth, seventh, and ninth circuits, judges from those circuits, uh, judges from the highest courts in Illinois, New York, and California. But I think the best experience that I took away from participating in the advocacy programs at Chicago Kent was just the opportunity to work with really accomplished and dedicated and enthusiastic uh, professors, peers, and alumni of Chicago Kent that were willing to pour their energy into making me a better future lawyer. I'll tell you why that means so much to me. Uh, from my freshman year of college through my second year of law school, I corresponded with a girl in Peru who through an agency that uh, provides food and clothing and education to kids, impoverished kids in various countries around the world. Um, this girl was pretty awesome. She was learning English. She would write letters to me about how much she loved school. And at the very beginning of my second year of law school, I got a letter from the agency saying that uh, Giovanni, the girl that I was corresponding with, would no longer be able to uh, participate in the program had to drop out of school because she had to stay home and take care of her younger siblings because her parents couldn't afford a babysitter. And I remember thinking when I got that letter that advancing through sixth grade was not really ever uh, a question for me. And here I was in law school. I'd had people invest in me all my life and I was surrounded now by uh, attorneys and professors who were willing to make me better and I promised myself that day that I would make the most of the opportunities I had. Uh, and that was just a few weeks before my first moot court competition. And when I walked up to the podium a year and a half later for the final round of our national finals in the national moot court competition, I had that same promise still running through my head. And my teammates and I were very aware that our success was not just about the three of us working hard. It was, we would never have gotten as far as we did had it not been for uh, our professors and the alumni and our classmates that worked so hard in making us better. And in a sense, the enormous efforts that we put into preparing for and eventually winning the national championship was a way of saying thank you to the people who made it possible. So we could never have done as well without them. I think maybe the best possible summary of what I learned through the advocacy programs at Chicago Kent comes from the job I had last summer. I, the attorneys in my office knew that I eventually wanted to be a litigator and so sometimes they would stop by my office and give me little bits of advice um, from their years as trial and appellate attorneys. And I loved, I loved getting advice from attorneys who have experience and so I always appreciated it. But they would often kind of tack on a little phrase at the end of the advice that um, sometimes kind of frustrated me. Uh, they would often give me advice and then they would say they don't teach you these things in law school or in law school you don't learn how to really practice law. And of course I never said anything in response. But what I always thought was they do at my school. And to me, that's what the trial and the appellate advocacy programs are all about at Chicago Kent, teaching us how to really practice law.